Hello, and welcome to my January 2023 Completed Pages video. I am going to just jump right into it. Uh, we're going to start with Whimsical Gardens. Creative Haven book by Alexandra Cowell. And in this book, I did this page. Apparently, I tore it out to do it. Um, if anything seems weird, it's because I've kind of flip-flopped some of the setup on my table. So, hopefully, it won't get too crazy. <clears throat> so, this is for a few prompts. Uh, it's for... Gone Fishing 23 for Coffee Lover 5 underscore 5 for Meg's Birthday Color Along 2023 and for Color Your Horde. Uh, this was one of the books that was gifted to me by Sarah Simi. I, my card that I drew for Go Fish was all purple. So this is what I did with that. There's some glaze in there. There's some Tombows. There's some glitter marker. There's some regular pens. There's all kinds of everything in there in purple. I had a lot of fun with that. One of my favorite colors is purple, so that worked out great. And I'm keeping these tabs on here because I am currently going through all of my books and sorting them out to do um, my full collection videos uh, that will be coming up here pretty soon. So, exciting stuff. It's a lot of books. It's going to be crazy. Next, I gotta, after I get them all sorted, which I'm almost done sorting, I gotta figure out how many I want to do in a video because there's, there's just a lot. So, next one. Cosmic and Eternal Love by Amrita Sen. This page I did for Find and Color for Ogo Rani uh, for Monkey. And uh, I've been wanting to get into this book. I really like it. And so this is done in water based marker. It is a two sided book. So, water based marker, I believe my Amazon. Basics. They're like Tombow markers. And then my Tombow grayscale and skin tones. And you see, there's a monkey in that design. There's a monkey in the gorilla design. And then there's a monkey. So that was a, a fun, good, quick color that I actually got done on that Sunday. But um, I didn't post it for a few days. So yeah, good fun. Oh, and this uh, book came with a, a music CD. Came with a music CD. And I kind of drew my, my outside border colors from the colors on the CD. So, and some of the, the inside ones too. I haven't listened to it yet. I may, because I'm just that kind of person. I will do that kind of stuff. If I like it awesome, if not, then whatever. So that is out of Cosmic and Eternal Love by Emrita Sin. Next, I have two in Lighthearted Mandalas by Snickerdoodling LLC. And the first one was for the Snickerdoodle U color palette challenge. And <clears throat> what she does is Kim, who illustrated this book, on her Instagram will post a color palette for each month. She started in January. I do have the new palette for February. It is February 2nd, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, 
I did this in Prismacolors. There's a little bit of white acrylic paint pen on there, but everything else is Prismacolors. And I now remember why I do not do full pages in pencil very often. I do thoroughly enjoy how this turned out, but um, pencils are a killer for sure for me, for my hands. Um, I also posted this for that tag. It has to do with mandalas. Again, I'm keeping my tabs in here because I'm going to be doing my full collection stuff soon. Oh, and on this one, I will post, I'll, I'll insert a picture of the uh, color palette. This is a, a picture of her dog Snickers, hence the name Snickerdoodling. Anyways, this one was a buddy color with Kim, who illustrated this book. Um, we kind of went with a challenge that she, she had uh, seen, my goodness, English that she had seen on Facebook. I am not part of the Facebook group the, that she got the challenge from. Uh, and it was split color and grayscale. And uh, she's done quite a few of the mandalas in this book already. Uh, so I had her pick the mandala. We did half black and white. I will post her picture over here. Um, I used Bic permanent markers, that's what I used, and some uh, white acrylic paint pen. The uh, grays are Arteza Everblend alcohol markers, and then I tried to make it look dimensional, so there's some, some shadowing in there. That's why there's gray around the outside, and this just jumps right out. I was really shocked by that. Looks almost like there's neon in there or something. So, um, and I posted it to the, that one also again. So yeah, that was my buddy color with Kim likes to color on Instagram, Kimberly George on YouTube. She's not doing YouTube videos yet. I keep trying to get her to do them. She's doing reels on Instagram though. So, um, and I have used her reels, her the tutorials on her reels to uh, do things, which you'll see in some of my other pages. So that is Lighthearted Mandalas by Snickerdoodling LLC. Next, this page is out of one of Kendra Norton's reverse coloring book pages. Um, my friend Tina came over and she wanted to color and she was very interested in the reverse coloring book situation and she was a little intimidated so we got her a page that was not too crazy and she i asked her what she wanted to use and she said something shiny so i got out my bucket of glitter gel pens and she went to town and she thoroughly enjoyed it so she will be doing that again soon, I hope. We, we do have a lot of fun coloring together. Next is, this was for an Olga Rani prompt, it's upside down, of Butterfly. This page is out of a book that I've had for freaking ever. Like, it has to be close to 20 years that I had this book and that long ago, I didn't, I only had maybe five books, so I would disassemble them. If I sound weird, pardon, I apologize, it's getting super toasty in here, I'm taking my sweatshirt off. <clears throat> Anyways, I only had a few books, and so I would take them apart and I would make copies of them, and I would color pages multiple times. Um, 
that is not an issue now. So as you'll see when I do my full collection videos, I have plenty of books. It's crazy. Anywho, I um, went through those pages just because I was going through all my books and all my coloring stuff and found this page and I thought, hey, I really like it. I'm going to do this and I wanted to paint and it was already separate. So, uh, background blue is acrylic paint that is two coats and the gray on the leaves and the flowers because I wanted the butterflies to be the star of the show. So I just grayed the flowers out. That is an Arteza Everblend alcohol marker. And then I went over the black lines and the flowers and the leaves with a Jelly Roll Moonlight. And then I, as you can see, I altered the butterflies to look like monarchs with a black Sharpie. And then I did Sal Color Glitter gel pen on the butterfly wings, like three different colors, and some Bianu, Bianu, white gel pen. So it was a fun page. Um, this is going to be sent to a new home. Um, yeah, so that'll be, that'll be interesting. I, I'm always happy to uh, share my work with people at times. Is, I mean, it's already separate, so I'm not going to like rip something out of a book unless it's, you know, super easily done. So, yep, this is going to new home. Exciting stuff. Next one is for a couple of prompts. This was a free page that I got from Fulfill Works on Instagram. Um, I have been wanting to do something from them for quite some time and I finally got around to doing it and I was in a crazy pastel stage. This is printed on cardstock and I used my Oohoo pastel alcohol marker set and then went over all of the black lines with a white acrylic paint pen and I'm honestly not sure if this is giving me more winter vibes or more beachy vibes. I don't know. I can't decide. But I really do like that. Um, that was for the hashtag of get your free beyond 23. Uh, Coffee lover underscore five is hosting that and for that one again also. Next I have a Lori Craig book, The Beauty Within Coloring Book. I will insert a cover image here. Uh, my printer, when I was doing this, was running out of ink. So, this page has streaks in it, um, but, I mean, you can obviously still tell where things are supposed to be, and uh, I wanted to do something a little different. So, I did some cross-hatching, some line work in there. I used my fine liners, and... That was a nice, fun, quick color. And then this one. I have these seven alcohol markers chilling in a mug on my table, which they've been sitting there for quite some time. I have a whip that, they're not in a mug, they're in a jar. Here they are, in a jar. Um, and I didn't want to get up to find other alcohol markers, so I just grabbed those and used them, and I think it turned out pretty freaking cool. So, those are out of The Beauty Within by Lori Craig. I should be getting a, another book from her this month, 
so look forward to that. I think this one that's coming out this month is going to be a more intricate and challenging one. This book is Chinese. I have no idea what it said. Well, I actually did Google Lens Translate, and every time I did it, it said something different. So I couldn't tell you exactly what it says, but I will put pictures in of what Google Lens said it said in one at one point. Um, I did this for the Oval Rainy prompt of Mermaid. And this one took a little while. It was fun. I really, 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 really like my King Art gel crayons. Even the metallic parts are the King Art gel crayon. It is an amazing medium. Uh, and I, I use them like I, I have this um, textured glass cutting board that I use as a, a palette and I just scribble on there and then I activate it with water and just paint with them. I hardly ever actually apply them directly to the paper, which I may do. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, as per usual, I did my washi tape border gel crayon base for just about everything and this actual gold in the fish and like the tattoos I guess on her are gold gel pen and then I used snickerdoodling LLC her tutorial on how to color gold with colored pencils and I believe that I used my Kalur colored pencils to do that. For this gold medallion in the background. And then I used um, acrylic paint pens to do all the outlines, all the outline work. I am quite happy with how that turned out. It was, it was a fun one. And... Uh, it looks velvety and it feels velvety. The uh, gel crayon ends up feeling really soft and the shininess hardly comes off, which is another thing that I like. So, fun, fun page out of that Chinese book. Next I have out of 100 Nouveau Circle Magiques Art Therapy Hatchet Hero Book illustrated by Christophe Alex Perez. So it's all a bunch of circles uh, and it makes pictures. So I did the Lime Green Gorilla, which you can see on the bottom the palette was different and I changed it to greens because my boyfriend, you know, has told me multiple times uh, over the years we've been together, almost eight years in April, um, that when he was a toddler, he saw, he went to a, a zoo and saw a lime green gorilla eating purple cabbage. So I did purple in his mouth because, you know, the cabbage stained his mouth. So lime green gorilla and purple cabbage. I just absolutely love that story. I'm not picking on him at all. I, I thoroughly enjoy it and I wanted to pay homage to the awesomeness of that story. So I did this all in acrylic paint pens. Yeah, fun stuff. I, I like these books. So that is out of 100 Nouveau Circles Magiques. Next is my whip that I had forever and I finally got it done out of Mythographic Wild Winter. I did a disc bind this book because it's falling apart. Finally got this page done. This was for the seasonal Ogle Ranny Prompt of Snow. 
and I had quite a bit of it done and I it didn't take me a huge amount of time to finish it but it still took longer than I thought it was going to um, so I have everything including the kitchen sink in this I based everything in alcohol marker there's jelly roll glaze there's jelly roll moonlight there's um, what are they called wink of Stella yeah wink of Stella there is iridescent acrylic paint on the little glowy candle circles there uh, there is glitter gel pen on some of the snake scales. There is uh, black Sharpie that's blacked out the background. And there is shaved ice, I believe is what it's called. This glittery stuff on the snowflakes there. So yeah. This was originally started for the Olga Randy Prompt of Candle, which was forever ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. And I didn't get done in, if you've watched my channel for a while, you've seen it a few times. So it's finally done. I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah. Good times. And I didn't cover up any of the hidden objects. Like there's a, a but I did try to make them blend. There's a mouse, there's a bird, there's a spider, a necklace, and other weird random stuff in there. So, yeah. So that is out of Mythographic Wild Winter. Illustrated by Joseph Cadambane. Next, I have out of Yuki Yo E, I believe that's how you say it. Um, it's Japanese based stuff, but it's French. I got it off of French Amazon, I believe. So, um, I did this page for the Olga Rain Cropped Up Parrot, and I used. I based everything with my Amazon basic dual tip water based markers and I did it little little circles and purposely didn't keep a wet edge so it got kind of that muddled look and I tried to make my parrots look like African gray parrots which they're actually a lot bigger than that because they're bigger than a pomegranate but whatever. And then I covered all of the lines with Jelly Roll Moonlights and I love the background. There's a bunch of glitter marker, ink glitter marker, and I even went as far as to shade the little seed things in the pomegranate to make it look like there's seeds because that's how they look. And then I colored them with jelly roll glaze that was took a while but I really really like how it turned out it was a fun page so that was for finding color parrot for Ogle Rani next is this giant book I got this from Sarah Simi also Oh, this is Fantastic Cities, and I altered this mandala page. It's this, this city, Donauwerth, Bavaria, Germany, and then they, oftentimes this artist, Stephen McDonald, Steve McDonald, uh, takes the page and then makes it into a mandala-ish pattern. So let's find another pair. So this makes them into a mandala. So this is the mandala side of this. And I altered it to look like a snowflake. So this was also for Olga Rennie's prompt, the seasonal prompt of snow. And that one again. 
or mandalas. And I believe this one is a year long tag. And I'm going to be doing a lot of mandalas. So, yeah. Um, so, what I did was I went through and outlined, well, I did my washi tape border. And then I went through and outlined the shape that I wanted the snowflake to be. And I blacked out all the rest, which you can still kind of see where the building outlines are behind it, which is kind of cool. And then on the inside, I took my all my super light pastel-y colors from my um, Amazon Basics Tombow-ish markers, because it is two-sided. And just randomly, all over the place. And then, uh, because I blacked out the rest, and then went over all of the black outlines with a silver acrylic paint pen on the inside of the snowflake. I was hoping to make it look kind of prismy ish like, I don't know. And then I did a white outline around that, and then a, another outline around that with the uh, ink glitter marker in the lighter blue. So, yeah, that was... That was fun. That is out of Fantastic Cities by Steve McDonald. It's a big book. Next, out of Day of the Cat by Kong Hae Jin. I did. This kitty. for a one color challenge. M Bean's color with me. And uh, January was gray. It's also for Color Your Hordes. It's the first one I did in this book. Um, that snowflake was also for Color Your Horde. I apologize if I've missed anyone. I'm trying to read my notes. Um, so... I based the inside of the cat with Distress Ink, which I had the mini pad and it was running out, so I just actually took the pad and rubbed it all over the thing, and when I was done, it was done, and I just threw it away. It's, yeah. Um, and then around the outside, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of shiny. That is eyeshadow, and I did lighter up top and darker on the bottom to kind of give it a shadow. And these were all lines to, you know, denote fur that were already there. You can kind of see a few of them poking out there in the ear. And I just covered them all up with a uh, gray acrylic paint pen, and then run around the outside outlines, which were actually that thick and with a silver acrylic paint pen. That took a while. It's very uh, tedious and monotonous, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy how it turned out. So that is Day of the Cat, coloring book by Kong Hei Jin. Next is my first page, so this kind of for Color Your Horde. Uh, out of any Thomas Love comic book, um, I really wanted to do a page in here, and uh, Oval Ray had a prompt of Butterfly, and she actually suggested this page when she goes through and shows everybody, you know, hey, let's do whatever and I like I said I really wanted to get into this book and this was actually one of my least favorite pages out of all of them I mean I, I liked it it's it's Thomas Love Tomic it is amazing but compared to all of the rest of them in all of his art this one was probably my least favorite not saying that I didn't like it I do and so I thought you know what I'm still kind of in my Neurographic 
thought phase and I'm like, I'm gonna alter this page. And I thought, I hope no one thinks that's blasphemy. I'm just gonna do it. So I blacked out the castle and the, the bridges and I wanted this to look very like magical. And uh, so yeah, there's just a lot of altering here. I, I made circles in all the clouds, and then I outlined the main part of the butterflies. The sky, the background of the sky is uh, gel crayon, water activated gel crayon, which it does, it feels really, I like how that feels. It's interesting. And then after I black this out, you could still see a lot of the. Uh, used acrylic paint pen you can still see a lot of the strokes so I took out my gray jelly roll moonlight and just made more to kind of disguise it so it almost looks fabric ish and then for the butterflies I made the outlines a little bit thicker I didn't do any of the the details on the inside of the wings I didn't want it to be too dark and then I used my ink glitter markers for the different colors of the butterflies and then I wanted to make the fairy stand out so she's greens and yellows instead of the pink purple and orange and then I covered all this with a silver glitter nail polish which is still it's kind of smelly and I finished this like early early in January but yeah it's all super super de duper shiny and glittery so oh and I think I posted this to you uh, no fear of two page spreads double page spread Sam Ways coloring I believe which I keep forgetting to do for other ones. Gosh darn it. Anywho. Love Thomas Love Tomic art. So glad I got into this. I'm glad I got into it with a page that I wasn't super intent on doing a fantastic job though. I am very, very happy with this. So that is Thomas Love Tomic. That one. I'm going to try to say it. Next one is for the Nerma coloring. Blue hair, blue eyes, woman, 2023. Uh, and I also created my very first hashtag. I am just hell bent on making this Weilertson person a household coloring colorist name because I love all of their art. I love these books and I am treating this hair book as most people treat a Carla Magana book where they just anything goes whatever it's all good fun so pretty much what I did with this. Um, blue hair, blue eyes um, this is also for Color Your Horde the first page that I colored in here. I used a lot of stuff. Uh, I used a rainbow colored pencil. Rainbow colored pencil. This one. Those are the colors that are in it. Uh, and just colored the hair. As I do every time I use a rainbow colored pencil, the color is just where it is when I'm coloring with the pencil. And then I did her skin with uh, alcohol marker. All the outlines are done with acrylic paint pen, gold acrylic paint pen, and uh, the earrings, yes, these are giant earrings, are washi tape. This washi tape right here. Uh, and I, I almost did her whole face gold, but then I was like, hey, I got the washi tape on there. So, um, you can still see under 
the washi tape, kind of the wavy designs that were in there, but that's uh, just all washi tape on there and then outlined in gold. And this glitter on the background is this. Crafter Square. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It is a giant sticky sheet that is you know, used for doing decals. Um, and what I did was I got some parchment paper and I traced the whole main outline and made a template. And then I, I numbered the different spots, and then I numbered the different spots on here. So this was actually a whole, the whole thing, and then I cut each piece, and then I traced it on that. And make sure you do it backwards, because you're doing it on the back. Uh, and then cut that out, and put it on the page. And it didn't have to be perfect, because I knew that I was doing, you know, acrylic paint outlines. So, you know, as long as you get it somewhat close, and it is pretty sticky, so you kind of got to be careful with, you know, placement. It, it does allow you, if you don't stick it too hard right away, it does allow you to adjust, you know, take it up and adjust a little bit. So, that was fun. I am definitely going to be doing that some more, uh, and since I did that and it worked out and I liked it and it wasn't too ungodly crazy... I did uh, go and get a few more colors. I believe I have silver, gold, and a bright fuchsia pink. So, yeah. And I have started my page for the green-haired woman, which is going to be in here. She's looking a bit avocado-ish. Yeah. So, help me make this Weilertson a household name. Again, that is Blue Hair, Blue Eyes Woman, Nerma Coloring, out of Weilertson Hair. Next, I did Out of Tales from the Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson. I did this page. I did this for Tease Pretty in Pink Party 2023 for Tease World of Adult Coloring. Um, her criteria was something festive and you must use pink. So I did that. Uh, I also posted this to Animals Doing People Things. That is Colorful Pirates year long tag. And this is also for Color Your Horde, uh, Tease World of Adult Coloring, and Lavella's Coloring. So, I used my Kalua color pencils for most of this. I'm pretty proud of my shading in the cake. And then I wanted her dress to be sparkly, so that is Sal Color Glitter Gel Pen. And I did do a little bit of blending with them. There is some Jelly Roll Glaze Clear over water-based marker in these little things there. And my thought with these circles in the back was to make it kind of look like there was, you know, party lights in the background. I'm not sure if I accomplished that, but there it is. And this table, the pencil, it's still clear colored pencil but it is metallic colored pencil and it is a little glittery I'm not sure if that's showing through um, the little mouse there is uh, holding a little piece of cake wearing a hat and then her shoes are gray jelly roll glaze like little patent leather shoes there so yeah that's, that's another fun one glad to get a page done in here And then my next one is in this astrology book. It's a lot of uh, Shutterstock images, I believe. Those not chart well books. 
wasn't able to find, you know, a, an artist. And there's more than one style in here. Um, this page I did with Bic Ultrafine permanent markers. So I was trying to make my lines go with the flow of how they were. And I was like, I'm just straight coloring this. I'm not getting crazy with it. I need to do that more. It's going to be difficult. But I do like how this turned out. Um, I actually had the darker blue part of this a different color to start with and I didn't like it so I changed it to dark blue. Um, I believe it was peach. If I can find it I'll put a picture here of what it looked like with the peach. I like the blue much better. And that is for birthday 2023 Capricorn for uh, Be Cozy Coloring. This is also for Color Your Horde. Tease Tease World of Adult Coloring and Lovella's Coloring. And Color Your Star Zodiac, Coloring Your Star Zodiac 2023 for Jojo Zahanna. I believe I mis-tagged that to start with. Is coloring, not just color. So I did put coloring in a comment. So hopefully it'll go to her tag. Yeah, um, I do actually really like this book. So it was fun. I thought it was going to be quicker, but, you know, I was using my, my Ultrafine, so it took a little bit longer. And, you know, I wanted to, to have my lines going how they need to be, so. It is what it is. Next one is my buddy color with a lovely bunch of gals out of Mid-Century Modern Animals by Jen Sky or Ski. And we did I took mine out because I was painting this kitty page. And I based all of mine with my King Art Gel crayons. And then the gold is Gold Pilot Paint Pen. And all of the gray outlines are acrylic paint pen. This is acrylic paint pen and inside the eye. And then I wanted to use some of my foiling, rub off foil stuff. So all of this is Everything that's super shiny other than where the whiskers start is uh, that rub off foil. And then I actually, I hope you don't think I'm crazy, I save my cat's whiskers and claws whenever I find them on the floor. And over the years, I've saved quite a few. And <clears throat> I put real kitty whiskers on my page. Um, I shockingly had more than 20 whiskers to be able to do so. And then I covered the ends where I glued it on with some chunky holographic kind of gray black glitter. That I have. So, yeah, crazy cat lady putting real whiskers on her coloring page. Anyways, this was with a group, wonderful group of ladies, and uh, the group is ever growing. And that is with Doodle Robot, Colorful Pirate, Jojo Zahanna. Colored by Maya and Tammy Nibbling. Tammy Colors too. So that is our group. We have a wonderful time in our group chat and all that on Instagram when we're sharing trials and tribulations and all that fun stuff. We have picked another page to do in March. Um, it is going to be The owl, if I can find it real quick, I hope. Is that what that is? That is not what that is. 
There it is. There's the owl. So Marsh's group, buddy collar with that group is this owl. This is a fantastic book to color in. Um, everyone's pages were amazing. I will put them in here in no particular order. Um, everyone's was very, very insanely different. And we wait until the last day of the month to show everyone, you know, the big reveal. So, you know, nobody is influenced by anybody else. And everyone's was different. It, it's just... It boggles me, and I love it. I love how everybody's brain works so differently. It, it's it's fun. So that is my kitty page out of mid-century modern animals. My group buddy color. Fun, fun stuff. Again, we're doing another one in March. Next is... My current obsession, gosh darn it you doodle robot, for putting this in my head. She is doing an entire book, an entire pattern book in black and white. And I was like, OMG, not only an awesome idea, but the page, sorry I just hit my light, the uh, page that she had done when she had mentioned this was amazing. And she has done her completed pages, so she has another one done. And again, it is amazing. I, I just, I had to find a book to do that in. And there was a couple that I was thinking about, and they were just either going to be way too easy or way too hard. So I stumbled upon this. Art Therapy Mosaics, 100 Designs, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be the one, and you know, whatever, it gets done when it gets done. If I wanted to complete this in a year, I would have to do eight and one-third pages a month, which I, I am just not going to commit to. It doesn't mean I'm not going to do it on occasion. It just means that I am not going to commit to it. We have committed to buddy coloring every month one page out of our black and white book. So... Um, on my Unfinished Business episode, my last one, we saw these two pages done. Um, and for this book, I am using various pens and markers. This is a Jot Ballpoint pen, 0.7 millimeter. This is like regular ink. This is a Bic Gelosity. 0.5 millimeter. You can see it is very low. I've been using this a lot. My Arteza Inconic 0.4 millimeter. Bienio Gel Pen. My Sharpie S Gel. This is a 0.7. Tombow Black. And 15 dual tip this one's about done and then I just found these at the dollar store these ink micro brush brush tip pen this is awesome there is only one I would have grabbed a million if there were a million but there was only one so that yes I, I do have quite the uh, supply of all those except that one because there's 100 pages in here, and uh, it's going to take a lot of black pen and marker. And you can't use Sharpies, or you could, but that would kind of defeat my purpose. Anywho, did this page in Tombow, this page in Ink, R2 Gel Pen, I believe it was a 0.7, which I've not been able to replace. I, I actually replaced those with the uh, Bic Gelosity. I did get that at the Dollar Tree. And those I'm not even sure if I'm going to replace because it did ghost. It didn't bleed, but it did ghost a little bit on this side. I don't believe I had this page done in my last episode. It was a lot, and I, I stippled the grout lines. 
you can see that. So I do borders on all of them. If I can use the design itself to do that, then I will. If not, then I will washi tape or use my ruler, put a border around. And like some pages like this, where I drastically alter the pattern, I will leave a large space of what the original pattern looked like so you can see what it is. And double pages, if it's like this, I'm just going to do opposite foreground and background. This was done with Tombow. This was Arteza and Tombow. This is all Arteza fine liner. This one I am doing with Tombow and Arteza, I started doing it with uh, gel pen and it's not doing what I want it to, so I think I'm going to use my acrylic paint pen for the white. And then this one I am using the Bic Gelosity, and again, if it makes sense to do half and half, I am going to do half foreground and half background. So I've started the background on this one. And on this, I came up with a few more designs for this scale pattern. And I may repeat it on this page, or I may come up with some other ones, but I'll just take those all the way up the page. Started this one, so foreground and background. I'm using Tombow on that. I'm using Arteza Fine Liner. This one, uh... Switching it up with solid in lines. So that is Tombow and Arteza Fine Liner. This is Bic Gelosity. Do a bunch of circles in there. And this is Arteza. I like how you know that looked on the outside of this page, so I'm going to do that on a good portion of this one. And this is the micro brush pen. And then this one, this is off center. This is what happens when you try to continue to color when you're very tired. And I was going to fix it, but then I was like, nope, you need to leave that there for a reminder to not color when you're very, very tired. So we've got foreground, background, and then I'm doing some line work and dots down here. This is Tombow, that is Arteza. And these, I'm doing the full squares with the Gelosity. And then this one, I'm you know, doing kind of a dimensional look there with every other one, and I can't just do a line, a diagonal line across the whole thing, so they don't line up, so I have to individually figure out each square to do that, and that is also big velocity. That is probably the uh, most accurate one for tight spaces. Again, I'm going to do a stencil on this one and fix it up. This one I'm just going to paint the whole thing to cover that up. Because uh, before this was a black and white book, I, I had actually started a few. I have quite a few pages bordered. Um, I have a lot of ideas for a lot of pages. There's a couple more that I have kind of started, so let's find those. There's this one here. I got a blob. I was so mad, so mad. Got a little blob there. I was being so careful too. Started this one. That is with Arteza. This is the one page that I completely finished before I knew that this was going to be a black and white page. There's glitter all over this. So, all black and white, crazy bright page. It'll be fun. This one I will probably just paint over in this all color. 
This one I started with Vic Joacity. And this one I started with Vic Joacity. So, not quite 30 pages, Doodle, but um, not even eight full pages, which wouldn't even, you know, get me where I need to be for a month. So, there you go. I am quite obsessed with this book. Quite obsessed. I did not do an owl this month. I am shocked. Just shocked. I will be doing more owls. Anywho, those are my completed pages. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.